sort of MDM is on new game. I'll give it a short countdown. It's gonna be like three, two, one, go. Okay. Perfect. Cheers. So first thing I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to name my character something very specific and that is five comets. So that's going to come into play a lot later. You'll not see like a direct effect of that or anything, but uh, it basically is what allows us, one of the things that allows us to beat the game so quickly. Yeah. Because of the trainer ID, Manip wasn't able to set me options yet. Okay. Um, so I set those to fast off. And I'm going to grab the PC portion because the most brutal fight of the game is the first fight. There are only two fights in this category. Um, second one isn't really that hard. The first one is, yeah, it's, it's basically look of the draw as to sort of how it goes. The reason for that being is that Growl is brutal. Growl basically lowers your attack by one stage. Uh, up to six stages, I believe it is. And he can use that for the first six moves, if he really wants to. Basically making it a very long fight. So it can go anywhere from like, I don't know, like a minute to, to three minutes. It's ridiculous. So I'm picking Bulbasaur. Uh, for a, another specific reason, we need a Pokemon that can actually get to uh, the 16 special really quickly and can also potentially have three moves. Now, Charmander doesn't have three moves until level 9. Bulbasaur gets three moves at level 8 um, or level 7. So, sorry. And Squirtle doesn't get 16 special very easily. If we don't get 16 special, it isn't a massive deal. We can fall back onto another strategy, which I'll take you through if we have to. It's about a minute slower at best, not two minutes. So you can see there, he's used Growl twice. One of them failed. Each, uh, every status move that they use has 25% a 20% chance to fail. So we've had two Growl hits so far. Yeah. It can, it can literally go either way. The crits we hope for, um, the crit are, crit are great. They basically ignore any stat changes. You'll see a lot of difference between a crit and a non-crit. Yeah, I think he's pretty much... I've lost count of the growls, but he's used a lot of growls there. Pretty ridiculous. Okay, so this is going to be the first really important bit of information. 12 special. Okay. In... Um, in practice, I've, I've really only ever seen 13 or 14. 12 would usually be a reset in a normal run, but we can fall back to those PP strats that you're seeing mentioned in chat right now. But PP strats, basically, instead of relying on 16 special for our, our Bulbasaur, we can put the same value into our moveset by changing our PP, by using that PP. So I'm going to need to kill an encounter here to actually get to the point uh, a two encounters no no encounters sorry I'm confusing myself 12 specials throw me off um, the, the biggest sort of thing here is the amount of encounters you get you'll notice I got one encounter there that's one or two encounters is pretty average you can get an encounter in like every grass patch or you can get no encounters that's like the biggest change in, in the sort of time you'll get in this category um, up to this point, it's just just encounters and rival fight, and they're pure RNG. They're nothing to do with execution. So it can be it can be a little bit frustrating. Can cause quite a few resets. I'm gonna dodge around this grass here because I, I really don't want those encounters. They're not a good thing. Okay, excellent. So none on the way back down. Uh, that's that is literally going to be the one thing that uh, affects my time up until the Weedle guy. 
So just while we uh, while we get through this cutscene, there are a couple of other strats you can use um, other than PP strats that you're going to see used in this run. You can use item management with antidotes to uh, to do the first glitch. You can also use a Charmander with a very very uh, specific set of DVs, which are the unique stats that each Pokemon has. If you manipulate a Charmander to have 1, 0, 2 and 4 in its attack, special, speed and defense, attack, speed, special and defense, you can just walk through walls with that um, instead of having to do all of these fancy setups with special and PP and things like that. But that's very hard. Even if you do that perfectly, you uh, it, it's it's like thirty percent chance to get it. Like even even done correctly, so it's not marathon safe at all. Otherwise, I would be doing that. Last tile encounter there, of course. Just one last little bit of route one spite. Brilliant. Yeah, this category can take up to about 20 minutes. Um, because we're doing PP strat, it's probably going to be closer to 20 minutes. The best time for the category is 12.59, just under 13 minutes. Um, which is pretty ridiculous. I'm going to buy 8 Pokeballs. Um, it puts our money in a specific situation, a specific uh, value that we needed to be in later on. And also gives me enough Pokeballs to... Catch the things I need to catch. If we were to be on Pidgey strats, I would catch a Pidgey here and I would do the first bit of RNG manipulation. Um, you're going to see RNG manipulation anywhere in the form of Ditto, which I will talk to you about when we get to that. Uh, so, yeah, at least we get to see some. But not to worry. Okay, so Viridian Forest. Um, I'm going to take a specific path through this uh, forest. The first bit to dodge encounters and dodge this antidote here. But the second bit is to dodge uh, is to dodge wild encounters. So you'll see I'm, I'm sort of going up the right hand side here and I'm going down the middle. Those flowers that are on the, the sort of grass tiles say whether or not you get an encounter. Uh, say or not, whether or not it's an encounter tile. And they changed it between the Japanese and English versions. Um, so it's actually a, it's it's a sort of it's a glitch in in the game's programming that they're checking the wrong tile as to whether it's an encounter tile. So they're not classed as encounter tiles. So there's only 20, 28 encounter tiles that I actually walk over there, and it's a one in thirty two chance to get an encounter. So it's pretty, you know, it's pretty unlikely to get an encounter. You'll see, I didn't get a single one. Whereas in a, in a usual playthrough, casual playthrough, you would get quite a few. Okay, I'm, I'm getting destroyed by this Weedle here. This is the second and, and final fight of the uh, of the game. Of the category so far. At, at, at all. Yeah, I'm going to use a potion. I've got quite a lot of potions. Um, I don't need all these. And yeah, this is just a case of getting through it. Because Bulbasaur's second type is poison, uh, he's, he's grass poison type, he can't be poisoned. Uh, basically you can't be status by a, a, a status of the same type that you are. So that's quite lucky. If you were to be playing this glitchless and you are using Squirtle, you'd probably get poisoned turn one. Just, just happened. Yeah, so you'll see I got 14 special there. I was never going to reach 16 special. Um, from 12. So what I can do here, um, I can actually do an RNG manipulation to get a Metapod. And the RNG manipulation works really quite simply in this game. When you reset, we you set the RNG sort of value, like the initial seed, to a certain, a certain value. And because we know what that value is, if we move frame perfectly, through the intro and then through the game, we can anticipate what's going to happen. So I knew that that um, I knew that that metapod was going to come up because 
that that is what is just going to happen. Um, on, on on saving on that particular tile and then moving frame perfectly. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm using growls to get it to 36. Okay, and I need my tackles to be 16. I also need to kill the metapod. I might start thinking about using the leech seed now, to be honest. So he's going to sap him for me. And I'm basically going to tackle him until I have 16 tackles left. So you know when I said about this taking ages? It takes ages. A minute at best. You know. At other times. It can take quite a lot of time. Um, usually... In a, in a normal run, you'd be looking to sort of be resetting for the next glitch by now. But, you know, a marathon run, we can't anticipate these things. So, we take what we can get. Okay. We need to just have Leech Seed kill him at this point. Hi Floods. Okay. So we got to level 8. We see 15 special there. Still not at 16. And of course we get an encounter. So okay. A bit of an awkward strategy that one. Um, it sort of has you waiting until you, uh, until you can move on. But not to worry, we've got the exact setup that we need now. How old is this route where you get ditto and do all this crazy stuff? Now the, the sort of the first 10 minutes of the route that I'm doing now is the same from the sort of old route. Ditto came about sort of September-ish last year when RNG manipulation came about. So this route wouldn't actually be possible without RNG manipulation. Like it sort of would, but it's like a 10% like a less than 10% catch rate on the ditto that we're going to get okay so you'll notice there I walk past the uh, the bloke who takes you to Brock okay now that would start a cutscene and because it starts the cutscene it disables your directional inputs but it doesn't disable your A, B start and select so if we put our cursor over over save, we can actually save past him and get past him where we wouldn't usually be able to. And then when we speak to him from the right, we can basically confuse the game into, into allowing us to move. is we're going to do another RNG manipulation. And this RNG manipulation basically allows us to get Ditto. Now we need Ditto for the next glitch. Oh dear. I messed it up anyway, so you're not missing much. Okay, we're back. We're back. Right. Yeah. Oh, so you're still going to actually get to see my mess up with the ditto. Yeah, so what we've got to do is we've got to move frame perfectly through the dungeon. 
And once we get our encounter, we're going to perform what's known as the Yola Ball. Now, the Yola Ball is what allows us to actually catch this. And it's a four frame trick. So if I miss it, I miss the trick. Ah, there we go. I never missed this in practice. Of course, I miss it now. So it's four frames in a 60 frames per second game. Um, and that isn't the tightest window that this game gives. There are some two frame windows that some categories use. There are some one frame windows, but four frames is still pretty tight. Okay. Let's hope we get it. Nice. That means we actually got it. If it goes in the ball at all, it means that we've got it. Something to do with the way catch mechanics work. Uh, we didn't get a... Um, We didn't get a, um, a thing, a donation incentive for Ditto. So I'll just name it that for now. Okay, uh, next section we're going to go to. Okay, we've caught our Ditto. We've RNG manipulated our Ditto. We're going to go on to Route 1. And we're going to perform the most ridiculous thing you'll ever see in Pokemon. So, like, glitch categories, to be honest. Unless you're watching Yellow in a C. And that is basically, we're going to perform the Cool Trainer glitch to catch a couple of Pokemon. The first thing we need to see though is a Rattata. Now the Rattata has two moves and that's instrumental to what we're trying to do here. Obviously I'm going to get Pidgeys. Pidgeys only have one move, so we can't actually perform the glitch using a Pidgey. Uh, we need to see a Rattata. There we go. So what you'll see now is I'm going to transform into him. He's going to tackle me, but I'm level 55 and he's level 2, so yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch Tail Whip and Tackle. And I'm going to run from the fight. Okay. And what that's going to do is that's going to confuse the game. Because before that, I only had one move, right? And when I switched my moves around, I got rid of my one move. So now I have a Pokemon with, what's, with, with no moves. Okay. Actually, you know what? This stuff has gone wrong already. I'm gonna save. Um, so we're gonna have a Pokemon with, with no moves, and that's got a really special property. It's what we know as Cool Trainer, and that allows us to corrupt the Pokemon that we get the encounter. That that is our en encounter. So you'll see now there's no type. I'm mashing down here like you've never seen, and you see it turned into Cool Trainer. I'm going to flash me bag, and then I'm going to go back in until it uh, shows me cool trainer again. There we go. So you'll see that it's really it's glitched the, the screen quite a lot. Um, it's probably killed the sound as well. Well, I don't actually have the sound, and obviously the game isn't meant to be in this state. We've, we've, we're pretty much ruining it at this point, and yeah. These Pokemon have really unique characteristics and that they allow us to corrupt our party and do some naughty things. Yeah, we should be banned at this point. And I don't believe... There we go. So I've got, all I've got to do is catch this with one ball left over. It's like a 50% chance to catch it. Just under 50 or just over 50. I did work it out at one point. And usually it's gone in by now. You can see the Pidgey's trying to use TM44, all sorts. It's got to go in here or I have to reset. Okay. I'm glad I saved now. Um, usually that wouldn't happen. Um, obviously you're, you're losing a load of coin tosses in a row there. <laughs> yeah, the music glitches because we're doing sort of, we're doing like a lot of glitches. So it's sort of, I'm not sure the technical reasons for it, but it, uh, yeah, it's it's basically just changing the music that's running. So we'll cool trainer again. Um, we're very nearly done. Didn't want to go overestimate, but yeah. Okay. 
Nice, so I'm just mashing down, hoping for Prof Professor Oak type to change. Anything else will do. Please. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, this bit's pretty much RNG, and it's not going in my favour right now. Really not. If it would do this for me, we could uh, show you something really cool. And we're officially all the best. Yeah, this is marathon look all over. I did two practice runs earlier and they were both like 16 minutes. <laughs> so hopefully he goes in this time. Yeah, literally the only, the, this is the last RNG bit of the run. There we go, excellent. So he's in, he's in. Usually that would take a lot less time. <laughs> that would be a run killer. So that is a ride on, believe it or not. Um, so because the game doesn't have a, a, a number for him, an ID, for him, it basically gives him the first one, which is right on. Um, we're going to do the same thing again here, but this one's a guaranteed catch. So there we go, he's going to go in straight away. Right, boring bit's over now. I'm going to do something ridiculous, and yeah, this is what's known as F4. I'm going to move to the bottom, and I'm going to use my F4 that I caught, the glitch Pokemon. The corrupt me party. There we go. So my party's corrupt. So I'm gonna do one with five. In with fifteen. Fifteen with seventeen. Sixteen with nine. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically, I've corrupted my party to the point where I can change to the fact I've got no Pokemon, I've got instant text, and I change my location to be the Hall of Fame. So when I move one step left, it's as if I've just beaten Gary. I've just beaten the Hall of Elite 4, beaten the entire game, and that's time. So we actually managed to uh, beat the game from... Two fights and two Pokemon, four Pokemon called. Yeah, a lot of clever, a lot of clever people in the community came up with that. Um, basically, finding out what swaps you need to do to uh, to be able to do that. Uh, shout outs to Effects and to Winter uh, and the and the crew. And yeah. We can basically destroy the game like that using Cool Trainer. So yeah, that was Pokemon Blue NSC, uh, probably in its worst form. Uh, usually you can you can shave off about uh, about eight minutes off that in in a, in a good run. Um, purely on the the last little bit that you saw there, and on getting sixteen special instead of doing PP strats. So yeah. <laughs> the best of luck all that marathon luck so yeah thanks for having me and uh good luck to uh the snobs on fire red hopefully not as much marathon luck for you and hopefully not <laughs> that's insane the amount of rng right at the end yeah yeah that's it's, it's pure rng and i've never seen it that bad and i've done i've done a, a, a sickening amount of practice runs in the past week <laughs> This is well, funny. Perfect. That was great. Cheers, mate. So anyway, we'll, we'll head into another intermission whilst we head over for Fire Red. Quick reminder, if you want